Hello, I'm Staff Sergeant Kranpar Samyan and this video is about the notes on the D and A string of the cello, as well as finger placement and what it feels and looks like and how it should be done. So first I'll play for you a D major scale, which starts on an open D string. And the fingering for that is open string. So it's very identical. Open string one three four, open string one three four, and the same way on the way back. So, in order to have your hand in the best way possible, it has to be natural, as if you're walking. And the best way to transfer that into your playing is, you can grab a glass, a cup or a glass of water without the water, and see how you're holding it. I'm sure until now you haven't really realized or a tennis ball or some kind of small squash ball and see how your thumb comes right under your second and third finger which gives you the best balance and stability so practice on a cup leave the cup on the side on the table and then put your hand on the fingerboard nice round fingers thumb opposing and what I see in everyone's playing 99% of the players out there it's the thumb is actually the biggest problem. Uh, in the beginning, you don't play with the thumb in, in the first eight nine positions, right? But it can hinder you a lot. It can bother you without you even knowing because everyone starts pressing up with the thumb. The cello is supported by your chest and by your legs and your knees, right? So your left hand is free. You don't have to hold the cello, let alone press up. So when you play, it's very important to rest the hand on the fingerboard and with that you have enough weight even if you're four or five year old your hand is going to be heavy enough to press a few millimeters down of each string so remember use gravity i like using that term use gravity in your advantage for your advantage to press the string down so <laughs> That concludes my video. Thank you.